The Weber was probably the board I was most excited to try out, just cause I suppose the sort of designs and concepts Greg's come up with over the years and the guys he's worked with and so I was sort of pretty excited to feel all that experience. And then when I saw the fin set up and, and the curve of the board and all that, I was, you know, got extra excited. So yeah, I was surprised how stable the fin setup actually felt. Um, it was sort of loose, drivey and all the above in one sort of thing. I feel like you could sort of stand anywhere on the board and get different feelings. So you could sort of, you could totally carve and control it from the center or you could get right back on it and, and still find drive from those back fins, I guess, but be totally loose at the same time. It was a real mixed bag, but still really comfortable and easy to control, yeah. When I first grabbed this board, I was like super amped to surf it, and then I saw what fins it had, and then I was a little bit skeptical, thinking it'd just be really weird. Then I rode it, and the thing is just super, super loose, and it's not weird at all. It's a really loose, carvy, um, high performance board. I noticed right away that he used a blank that I really like, and this blank always feels really lively under your feet. You could really hold your carve, but if you wanted it to release, at the end all you had to do is push the board flat and then you'd get the slide and the tail at the end of the turn. But if you wanted it to hold all the way through, you just had to keep it on that rail and just keep pushing. So that was pretty cool, because you could, you know, some boards, they either don't release or they do. So this, you could kind of control that. And because it was narrow, it was real, like, quick to turn, and uh, actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. I think the conditions it would suit would be sort of three foot really steep waves because overall it does want to cut a fairly tight turn and then I guess I guess anyone who's surfing those conditions sort of probably really suit the beach breaks of the Gold Coast, Snapper and D-Bar and those kind of waves. 